It was Championship Sunday at the Pete Maravich Assembly Center in front of a packed house. We'll have all of the highlights, including the big post-meet celebration as your Fighting Tigers are Southeastern Conference champions again. All of that coming up inside LSU Gymnastics. Inside LSU Gymnastics with D.D. Bro is brought to you each week by Women's Hospital. The best birthday ever is at Women's. T.J. Ribs. Legendary Louisiana Barbecue and Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. From the LSU Gymnastics Training Center on the campus of LSU in Baton Rouge, this is Inside LSU Gymnastics. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike Smith, along with Hall of Fame head coach Dee Dee Bro. Is there anything finer in all the world than the premier gymnastics training center? Come out and take a look sometime if you're in the Baton Rouge area. Dee Dee, it's been a fantastic week of LSU Gymnastics. Had a full house on Sunday afternoon, another matinee meet. Our fans have really come to enjoy those Sunday afternoon meets. There was something on the line, a little trophy that we'll talk about here in just a few moments. But we started the meet with really what has been a cornerstone of your program, and that is the financial support to endow scholarships for this fantastic program. You know, Mike, it's a, it's a push from Tiger Athletic Foundation, and it's the foundation of champions. It's something that we work very hard on, and what it does, it, it makes us extremely relevant, and it, it makes us what we like to think sustainable. We, what Our goal, our express goal is to endow all 12 of our scholarships. We're, we're past halfway now. We gave two. Two of them were endowed this weekend. Beth and Steve Topes, who have been fabulous fans and right. of course made a huge donation to this facility as well. And then Thad and Belle Scott, who have become, you know, both of these uh, families have become very close to us. And Thad and Belle also uh, gave a generous donation for part of our upstairs uh -huh. in our facility. So we are so proud and so excited about the project. And those are the fine folks <laughs> that help put the fuel in the tank in the terms of the financial resources needed to keep the LSU gymnastics program at the top of its game. And speaking of tops of the game, you looked around to start the LSU versus Auburn meet on Sunday afternoon in the Maravich Center. Over 12,000 fans watch you come shot out of the cannon, Dee Dee, over on the vault. You t your team goes 49-375. I know you continue to look for some stuck landings there, and that's an area that you're going to emphasize. Well, you know, one thing we're doing, we're adding one and a half vaults, and I, w I, w I want to really compliment Juliana. Um, she followed Sarah Finnegan, and you know, once again, Sarah does a beautiful vault, lots of height, lots of distance, and flares it open right there at the end, and then Juliana has been begging us to let her do the one and a half that she's been training, and um, it was great. One step, one little step there on the landing, but that is going to pay dividends as we move to the end of the season. And how about Ruby Harold in the vault lineup yep. right there in the number three spot? Goes with a season high score, 9875. Beautiful job, and you know, Ruby vaulted for us all last season, and she's been in and out, kind of alternating with Lexi Priestman. We pulled Lexi out this week and uh, gave Ruby the nod, so it was very exciting for us to have that many one and a halfs in our lineup. Maya Hambrick and Kennedy Edney round you out the first nine nines of yeah. the day, a yeah. harbinger of plenty of nine nines to come in the meet, and it puts you at 49 325 after the first rotation. And then the uneven bars, which has been an unbelievable strength for the Fighting yeah. Tigers again this season. Of course, it always helps when you have the defending SEC champion and the defending national champion in the lineup. Well, you just can't compliment this team enough. You know, they're starting with um, Sammy Durante, beautiful bar routine once again. And, you know, she stuck every landing she did in the warm-up, so we were thinking this is going to be a big <laughs> one. I had no deductions in this routine, and then she took a little shuffle step right there at the end. But um, it just it got better and better and better as, uh, as, as we rolled through that lineup. You just look at the consistent positions in the handstands, mm -hmm. um, aggressive swing. There was nothing tentative about any of these routines. Kennedy Edney, I thought, in the middle of the lineup, just did a beautiful job. 
um, I didn't lot of crowns. A lot of crowns. Lot of crowns. Hey, I didn't find a deduction <laughs> in Kennedy at me, and but she you felt and secure. I weren't judging. That's correct. You know? I, we don't count. <laughs> we don't count. <laughs> nine nine seven five for Kennedy Edney, the sophomore yeah. from Chino, California, who, as we'll talk about, had the meat of her life in the, for the SEC title, and then you round it out with Priestman and, of course, Finnegan, the defending national champion. Uh, Priestman was absolutely beautiful in the routine, and then Sarah Finnegan. The anchor there just brought it home. And, you know, that's another routine. I'm thinking, okay, we might get a 10 here. But we weren't judging. But uh, it was so exciting. And the fans, I think this is where the fans started really getting rowdy. And, you know, um, kids start talking about the, the ferociousness of our fans and yeah. how exciting it is to be in there. I'll tell you real quick. I noticed it after the second bars routine, which belonged to my Hambrick again this week. She goes with a 995, which ties her career high. I felt like our fans. It just clicked at that yeah. point, and it was on, and it was fierce. And at the halfway point of the meet, the Tigers are sniffing right around 99, which, of course, is halfway to that magical 198 figure. And when we come back after this quick timeout, we'll talk about the second half and see what the Tigers accomplished against the Auburn Tigers in the Merrimack Center after this timeout inside LSU Gymnastics. You're a mom the moment you see that second line. And it's time to get ready, because this birthday takes months to plan. Find the doctor who just clicks with you. Make a birth plan that's right for you. Because every woman wants something different, even you and your BFF. And when it's finally time, our doctors and nurses will be by your side as you bring your beautiful baby into this world. The best birthday ever is at Woman's. Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> All I wanted was a chance to play today. You know it's tough, kid, but we've both been in your shoes before. Yeah, right. You guys are great. Come on, I have someone you want to meet. You know the only way to become great is to learn from a legend. Billy Cannon! Hey, gang, come on in here. We're going to talk some football. Big day today. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a normal day in a normal place with normal crawfish prepared 36 ways. Maybe today you'll make that breakthrough. And maybe tonight you'll break through too. Maybe it'll rain. Maybe you'll shine. Or today could just be one of those days. For the unpredictable and the unencumbered, at LSU, maybe counts for a little something extra. Maybe. Absolutely. When you're more than a fan, the game never ends. Greatness doesn't live in the end zone, at the net, or above the rim. It lives within every LSU student athlete. And it's your calling to bring out their greatness. On the field, in the classroom, and in life. We are the Tiger Athletic Foundation. For decades, we've been the team behind our Tigers. Join us. Be more than a fan. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Welcome back inside LSU Gymnastics from the LSU Gymnastics Training Center here in Baton Rouge. We're so glad that you tuned in once again this week. As always, our highlights brought to you by TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Dee Dee, the second half of LSU Auburn. It was championship Sunday in the Maravich Center. And I think going into the third rotation, the balance being your team began to sort of sense that it was time to clinch this title. Time to make it special. You know, time to... To, to get the fans going, and, and you know, I think bars bars kind of got the match out. But when they went to beam, they they struck it and, and lit the fire. So you know, when you got the the one-two punch of Aaron Megadeg leading us off on beam, and 
I really, you know, shame, <laughs> shame, shame, because that was the best routine I think I've ever seen her do. And I thought, okay, first person up on beam, this is a record. She's going to get a 10. Of course, we <laughs> But it was a, a 10 over performance. They were that good. Sets up Maya Hambrick, and then it was just one right after another, right through the lineup. You go 995 to start it off, as you said there, with yeah. Aaron McAdeg, and then Maya Hambrick, 9875, and then right into Kennedy Edney, mm -hmm. again, who is working a magical all around at, at this point in the yeah. movie. Yeah, and she was so confident, and she had that, that look, that eye of the tiger look that, you know, I'm not going to be denied. Mm -hmm. You know, let's. let's Watch me, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we ask the kids, you know, once you go out there and show off, and that's what she's doing. She had, at Beaver Jean, she had that jaw set. She was going to give us nothing but her very best. And it was a season high effort, nine nine two yeah. five for Kennedy Edney, and then you roll right into a pair of freshmen yeah. who just really aren't freshmen anymore. Well, you know, Christina Desiderio was on the big stage. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was you know she was on the floor at the last Olympic trials, competing at the very highest level, and she has paced herself and come along and has really done everything we've asked her to do and you can see that happening more in this beam routine than any of her other apparatus. She's very focused. Um, she has really responded well to what, what we've done. You know, she's a parkette. She comes from one of the greatest training, training centers in America and um, we're just we're proud of her. And how about the season high for the freshman from Hackettstown, New Jersey, 9925 for Christina Desiderio. And then you roll in to Reagan Campbell, another well, freshman who just seems to excel when the lights come on. You know, and this, this is when I'm like, hey, remember where you came from. This, this kid was coached by Kim Zemesco at Texas Dreams, and she knows how to do beam. She did a little bit intimidated, a little bit, uh, there's some little kinks in her armor as she goes through the season, but every week that we put her in, she gets better and better, and her confidence level rises, and I, I just think that nobody else on this team can do a better job in her skills. I mean, look at the extension in her leaps, the amplitude in what she's doing, just her posture, her presentation. She sets up Sarah Finnegan, and you know, that's what we need. We need somebody that's got that look so that when Sarah goes, it's an exclamation point. And it does set up Sarah Finnegan to wind up the Fighting Tigers yeah. balance beam, one of the highest scores in school history, 49, 5 to 5. Yeah. Then it's time to flip it around. As you said, it's the fourth quarter in gymnastics, the fourth rotation in a home meet, and it's floor time. You know, I want everything to count. And, you know, the kids, you know, what did you tell them before you went to four? I told them I wanted them to light it up. I wanted them to get the fans on their feet. I wanted this to be an exciting rotation that, like, none we've ever had. And they went over there and they did, I mean, just exactly what we asked them. The 49 7 effort on the floor exercise yeah. was started off by Ashlyn Kirby with a very, very nice score of 9825. But then you go right into Christina Desiderio, who ties her season high with yeah. a 9875. And then you move in really to that part of the lineup. And this is when I think our fans in the Maravich Center, over 12,000 strong, really sensed that something magical was about to happen. Kennedy Edney, 9975. And then you follow it up with two perfect performances. Well, you know, Kennedy's tumbling, but, you know, her presentation is also getting better. Her confidence, how she carries herself on the floor, her her willingness to perform, I think, is what makes this routine special and just gets better and better each week. But also, there's a whole lot of sticking going on. Their landings are so solid. Their chests are up. And, you know, all three of the kids. But Kennedy set Sarah Finnegan up because Sarah Finnegan is so beautiful. Her, her dance is very pure. And um, her landing was just absolutely unquestionable. Took off vertical, landed chest up. No question that this was a solid, beautiful routine. And when the 10 went up, I think it was more than Maya Hambrick <laughs> could comprehend. <laughs> she, she, um, you know, she, she couldn't get her composure. And you yeah. know, Ashley Nat looked at her and said, "You got to get this going here because you're yeah. next." Yeah. So and she, you know, Ashley kind of and Bugs would know about Bugs would about, know about that. <laughs> and um, you know, Maya, I mean, the performance yeah. speaks for itself. It really does. When it you do a double layout. And bring it down to the floor, and your feet don't move. Yeah. And then the second pass was beautiful. Yeah. The leaps, her, her, her face. And I think the crowd was on their feet yeah. before she even finished that routine because they me, knew it was going to be special. Yeah, she told me on the way to the autograph session when we were walking together through the crowd, 
She said, I could not hear my music the last 10 seconds. I just went with it. And speaking of, of how loud it was, yeah. the streamers dropped, and the LSU Tigers are the regular season Southeastern Conference champions for back-to-back -back seasons. An amazing 198-1 effort in front of the home crowd, nearly a sold-out Meribich Center on Sunday afternoon. So much more right after this timeout inside LSU Gymnastics. standards have changed and you might need a new one. So flip your bat at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right now get 20% off any new bat when you trade in an old one or get your voucher online at academy.com. Academy Sports and Outdoors for all for less. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. David specializes in helping first-time home buyers, offering conventional FHA, VA, RD construction and jumbo loans. David takes the hassle out of getting a home loan while making you feel right at home. Lending the way you like it. Call David today at 921-8152. That's 921-8152. David Alello with Assurance Financial. So what are you going to do with the speckled trout? That's right. There's just no doubt about it that this is a place where food is created differently from anywhere else in the world because it just couldn't happen anywhere else. We're a culture made up of so many different people, love of ingredients, love of cooking styles, and they all right here. At the end of the day, that's all Baton Rouge. When you're more than a fan, the game never ends. Greatness doesn't live in the end zone, at the net, or above the rim. It lives within every LSU student athlete. And it's your calling to bring out their greatness. On the field, in the classroom, and in life. We are the Tiger Athletic Foundation. For decades, we've been the team behind our Tigers. Join us. Be more than a fan. Big day today. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a normal day in a normal place with normal crawfish prepared 36 ways. Maybe today you'll make that breakthrough. And maybe tonight you'll break through too. Maybe it'll rain. Maybe you'll shine. Or today could just be one of those days. For the unpredictable and the unencumbered, at LSU, maybe counts for a little something extra. Maybe. Absolutely. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by TJ Ribs. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Our exceptional performers of the week, brought to you as always by our friends at Woman's Hospital. The best birthday ever is at Woman's. And Dee Dee, I got to say that uh, it's, it's a, it's a toss-up. We've got Kennedy Edney with the second highest all around in the nation so far this season and a perfect 10. And Aaron McAdeg leading off on balance beam with a 995 career high. It's a it's a tough call, but you know that that Aaron cherishes that spot. She really, really is in her heart, and um, I got I got to give her a shout out on that one. And and also Kennedy Edney, who anchors her best event, is vaulting. She anchors that, but she's in that three four right in that mm -hmm. support the middle of the lineup mm -hmm. spot on those other three events, and came out with the second highest all around score in the country. Um, yeah. I'm, that's that's my pick, my two picks, mm -hmm. and but then l let's talk about those two tens that uh, floor for Maya and um, Sarah. This oh. is championship effort. This is the kind of stuff that you want to take into the postseason. So much to choose from in our exceptional performance of the week, brought to you by Woman's Hospital. Dee Dee, you know we have a great feature this week as we talk about how we look back a year ago with another national uh, performance there and, and this year where the Tigers seem to be on track for some additional greatness down the road. Well, how do you compare and contrast the Tigers of 2017 with the Tigers of 2018? Well, you know, Mike, the recruiting terminology is you go out and recruit, you either are rebuilding 
or reloading. Well, if, if you find yourself in a rebuilding year, then you've the done LSU something Tigers, um, maybe SEC not so good years prior because you shouldn't be in that place. You should be reloading and, and coaching your kids that are here to be better. The, the Julianas that, that really didn't do much last year, injury or not, but here she is now. Mm -hmm. Better, doing more, doing more difficulty, performing at a higher level. And then you have freshmen that came in, you, you lose um, somebody like Ashley Natt, but then you're picking up somebody like Christina Desiderio. Not the same performer yet, but Ashley Natt wasn't that performer her freshman year either. So neither was Maya Hambrick. Right. And then in comes you know, Kennedy Edney. Here comes the, 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 new, the new kids from last year are better than they were last year. So you want to constantly be coaching your freshmen to be better sophomores. And they should be their very best by their senior years. And I think that's what we're seeing with this team. Our Garrett Walvert takes a look at the Tigers of 17, the Tigers of 18, and what's making them great in the gym. I think they're two very different teams from last year to this year. Um, I think, um, you know, last year's team, we were sort of from the beginning on autopilot. Um, in the fall from the previous year, most of our, our, our main routines were returning. This past year, we had some off-season surgeries. We had some people, some freshmen come in injured. We, we lost Ashley Natt and Shay Zamardi and Sydney Ewing, who were tremendous competitors, but were also tremendous leaders. And so it took us a while to find our footing in the fall, both in training and in, you know, where the leadership was going to come from, because we had some... So we had some great kids returning, but uh, they had not always been the most vocal in terms of in terms of, of leadership. And to for, to understand and find those roles takes time. And and trying to put that puzzle together, it, it's certainly it's certainly not a good idea to take a one size fits all approach when you have those kind of circumstances. Um, so it's a very different team. Uh, but I think as long as your model uh, sort of remains the same. The dates and the deadlines and the and the milestones can move and have some flexibility, and I think that's what we had to do a little bit more of this year. Um, and and that's really that's really the thing because if it was just a formula that you followed year to year, anybody could do it. When you realize the gauntlet that we have to run through um, to to win this conference year in and year out, going to Florida and winning is hard. Going to Alabama and winning is hard. Going to Georgia and winning is hard, and so on and so on and so on and so. Um, it, it's tough, and we've been able to go undefeated each of the last two years. And I think there's a lot, there's a big psychological advantage, and it's, it's certainly for us to, to know that, that we've, we've beaten everyone, whether it's home or away. And it just gives us a little extra shot of confidence as we go into the postseason. The fan base has grown the way that it has. We want to be able to bring those exciting moments to them in the PMAC. But nonetheless, we still come back here in another in two weeks uh, to finish out with senior night and 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 uh, and honor these seniors, Maya Hamrick and Aaron McAdag and Lauren Lee and and Kylie Moran. Who those those last two names are names that not too many people would know, but nonetheless, they've been a big part of what we've done over the last four years. And and uh, so we're excited to be able to honor them. We're going against a Pac-12 team, um, Pac-12 probably being one of the premier gymnastics conferences in the country. Uh, Arizona will will give us a, t a little bit of a test, and we'll be able to we'll be able to hopefully go out in style and and uh, showcase these seniors to our fans one last time. standards have changed and you might need a new one. So flip your bat at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right now get 20% off any new bat when you trade in an old one or get your voucher online at academy.com. Academy Sports and Outdoors for all for less. Dirt isn't always bad like outside dirt. <laughs> that's not a bad thing. Also it comes off. Inside dirt? Yeah that's way different. But now there's a more powerful Chevron with Tefron. Yeah. It has even more cleaning power to clean up deposits left by low-quality gas. And cleaning up deposits restores lost gas mileage. It's legit. Now with more cleaning power, Chevron with Tecron. Care for your car. Nice hat. Now Contour from Cox gets you right to the strange stuff. Something's coming. Something hungry for blood. Noble stuff. The crown must always win. Show me something dramatic. And orange stuff. 
along with the best stuff on cable, because Netflix is now on Contour. How awesome is this place? Just say it. Black Mirror. And get right to the fierce, funny, bold, and bingy stuff. Watch it all on Contour from Cox. Netflix. Teamwork, integrity, victory. You'll find words like these on banners, bulletin boards, and locker room walls all across LSU. At Dudley DeBosier, these same values are how we built our law firm. And those values are also how we represent and treat every one of our clients. We're honored to be chosen as the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. And we love serving Tiger Nation. Demand Dudley DeBosier, the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. Kennedy, what are y'all doing here so early? We're here to get some extra work in, Dee Dee. Yeah, Dee Dee, the season's here. That's right. We are so fired up. So much pride and tradition. Watch this. Holy cow! LSU gymnastics tickets are less than the movies, so make sure to get yours today. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. Welcome back inside LSU Gymnastics. It was a fantastic Tiger weekend here on the LSU campus. Ten events for the purple and gold. Ten victories, Dee Dee Bro. <laughs> Unbelievable weekend all go the Tigers. way around. And you guys have a great weekend coming up. You're going to go yep. on the road for your final regular season road meet of the 2018 season. Mm -hmm. We go and take on North Carolina State over in Raleigh. You know, and it's going to be a, a great competition. They've remodeled that arena, so it'll have a nice, fresh look. Uh, we know a lot of the staff people there. You know, Fred Demarest, who used to be in our sports information department, is now there as an athletic director. And uh, Philip Ogletree, who mm -hmm. used to be with us, is now at North Carolina State. So we're looking forward to the trip, but also it's going to give us the opportunity to try to exercise our depth to take some people out of the lineup. Um, Jay has been working on future lineups, you know, anticipating <laughs> where we can take people out and put people in. So I'm, I'm kind of anxious to get with him and look at what he's thinking of doing. Well, our look ahead brought to you as always by Assurance Financial and our good friend David Alello, lending the way home buyers prefer it. That's going to wrap it up. LSU and North Carolina State coming up on the weekend. All the highlights coming up next week. Same time, same station, right here inside LSU Gymnastics. We'll see you next week. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro has been brought to you by Women's Hospital. The best birthday ever is at Women's. TJ Ribs legendary Louisiana barbecue and by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. The LSU Sports Television Network is a division of LSU Sports Properties.